Good morning. This is week five, day one of HGV driving. So I've been in it now for over a month, which is fantastic. I'm still enjoying it. I still think I made the right decision leaving teaching to be a lorry driver. And um, in this video, I'm going to talk about things I love about being a HGV driver. So let's start with number one, the freedom. I love driving this lorry because I feel free in a sense that yes I have deliveries that I have to make, I have to get the deliveries and the collections to and from the customer but with that being said I'm free to do them in any order that I want and I'm also free to, to bring with me whatever I want you know and I'm free to stop and have a break when I need to stop and have a break. I'm not restricted on when I can go to the toilet like when I was a teacher I could only go to the toilet at break time and lunch time but now I'm not restricted anymore I can just go whenever I mean you have to find a place to stop but I can go whenever freedom as well I'm also left alone my lorry gets loaded up in the factory on the morning and I have all my deliveries and paperwork and then I'm left alone for the rest of the day I take my deliveries, I don't get any phone calls from anyone, I don't get any emails or anything, I'm just left alone to do my job, I'm treated responsibly and I'm left to do my job, where in teaching you were constantly getting emails all the time and you had to make phone calls and things to parents or you'd get a message, so and so parent has phoned the school, they want you to call them when you can, you know it's constantly as well as doing your job you're always getting another email or something else to do um, on your list. It's also good as well because if I need to make a phone call, um, like the other day I phoned up my uh, network provider, like my phone company on here, my phone network, and um, I was talking to them about getting a good deal while I was on my break, where previously when I would finish teaching, I would probably get home at the latest half past five at the very latest and then at that time a lot of the phone lines aren't open anymore I mean probably with the phone network they would be but certain places that you try and call they close at five so you can't get through to them where in this job if I need to make a phone call I can and at like what's the time now 20 past 12 and they'll be open it's also good as well because I can choose to visit a calf or anything that I want. I can get whatever, like I'm free. <laughs> I can go to the calf and get myself a sandwich if I want or I can bring my own sandwich. You just, you're free. This is, this job is totally different to what I'm used to. Where before there would be a set menu at, at school that you can have on certain days but I mean I know there's a set menu in the calf but you can go to a different calf you don't have to go to that one you can do whatever you want I also love about lorry driving that I can wear my own clothes so with this company I do have a uniform to wear I have a t-shirt to wear but I was told I don't have to wear them so if I don't want to wear this t-shirt I don't have to but I do because why would I want to get my own clothes a bit grubby when I have these ones I also have chosen not to wear the trousers that were provided um, for me most of the time I just wear my jeans and then if I have a particularly rainy day then I'll wear them but I can wear my own clothes I can wear my hat I could, you're not restricted with this company anyway I don't know what it's like elsewhere because this is my only job so far but I can also choose my own boots in the shop you know I don't have to wear the ones that they give me if I want to buy some different boots like I wear purple ones then I can no, I don't have to wear what they say it's just freedom I also love the fact that I can be myself so when I was a teacher I had to be very careful with the things that I said and how I behaved inside of work and outside of work because you're seen as a professional person so you can't I mean, you're professional as a wagon driver as well, but it's different. You can be yourself. Like, I can sit here in my T-shirt and my jeans, and I can be myself. I don't have to pretend to be anything else or pretend to be the teacher that's always happy. 
You know, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just be you. And I like that. It's also less stressful. This lorry driving business is less stressful than teaching. I mean, I was really stressed with teaching and I used to take my work home with me. So I used to get home and mark books and plan lessons and still be thinking about things when I was at home and all weekend. Where in this job, I go home, I don't even think about the next day because I don't need to. There's nothing to stress about. I don't even think, oh, I wonder where I'm going tomorrow. It doesn't matter because I enjoy it. It doesn't matter where I'm going. It's very peaceful in here, so I'm by myself in here and if I want to have the radio on, I can. If I want to sing to my music, I can. If I want to play a CD, I can. Listen to an audio book or anything, listen to a podcast, I can. I can do whatever. This is my office on wheels. I'm not restricted. There's also quite a bit of time to do your own thing. Um, this morning I was waiting for an hour and 20 minutes to be unloaded at one of the places that we uh, deliver to and in that time if you have an iPad or something or your phone then you can sit on YouTube and watch YouTube videos or play a game you can do whatever really because you're just waiting there's nothing you can do I mean you can open the curtains but they're still not going to unload you till they're ready so that's time that you could use to to do something to, to your own thing really. I also love that being a HGV driver other drivers kind of treat you like you're part of the HGV family and they help you like today I was trying to reverse into a part where I was going to wait to be unloaded because there was a queue and I started to reverse my lorry and I always say this I would rather get out four or five times and check then I would hit another lorry I would rather check than hit another lorry that's what I mean or a factory or something so I was just reversing next to this arctic lorry and I got out just to have a look how far away I was and then before I knew it the guy had got his hand out the window waving me on to say that it was okay it's just other people help you the other drivers they know that they were there once they were struggling once and they were learning once so they just help you and I've helped other drivers I mean and I don't know what I'm doing I'm still learning I don't think you can ever be an expert you can always learn something new but there's times that I've been on a yard and someone's been struggling and I've helped them it's like we're all part of a family a HGV family we all help each other and that's nice it's really cool that is I like that I love the fact that I am lucky enough with this company to have my own wagon. Now I don't mean I own the wagon, I don't. It's the company's wagon, but only I drive it, unless I go on holiday or I'm off sick. But that means that I can bring to work with me whatever I want in my lorry, and I can have it set out how I want. So I've got a little bin in here, and I have my breakfast biscuit things in here and my drinks and stuff and I can leave things in here overnight like I've got my high vis there I've also got some spare ones over there and I can leave things in here because I'm lucky enough that it's my own wagon I really like that it's like my own office on wheels I mean it's it's, it's considerably smaller than my classroom but it's fine we'll manage I like it it's cozy I also love the fact that you're so high up in the lorry that I mean sometimes you have to try and dominate the road a bit so people will let you go especially if you've got parked cars either side of the street and you just can't get through then you have to push out but nine times out of ten the cars see me coming and then they'll pull in and give way to me because they know I can't I can't move out of the way in this. I can't squeeze it into a tiny gap like they can. So they give way to you. It's also being high up. You can see over things that you couldn't previously see over. So I can see over walls. I can see over bushes and so on that I couldn't see before. And you can also see over all the cars in front of you and the vans. You can see ahead more be more clearly, more better. That's not very good. You can see in front of you better and more clearly because you can see over the other cars, over the other road users. There's also lots of nice scenery as well. 
So it's nice on a morning. Uh, I come out of the factory for about half past six after I've loaded and I get to see the sunrise and it's so pretty. Some mornings the sky is red and it's so pretty. Other mornings it's miserable but I feel lucky that I, I'm alive for another day and I can see the sunrise. It's just, I don't know, maybe I'm soft but I like things like that and I like driving around and seeing somewhere beautiful, a nice river or something. It just makes you feel glad to be alive. Before I just used to be in my classroom all day and there was nothing, there, it was the same every day where this, although I visit a lot of the same places, it's not the same every day, it's, it's different. The last thing that I also love about being a HGV driver is that I don't have to work weekends and I don't get bothered on weekends. So I don't get any emails or phone calls or text messages over the weekend about work. You're just left alone and I love that so much. With teaching there was always an email or something. Well, I say one, there was lots of them. There was always something. It just... The job never ended. Where here, when I go home tonight, I don't have anything else to do about work. And I won't have anything on the weekend to do. I mean, I guess I could work overtime if I wanted to, but right now I don't want to work a weekend. I've got them already booked. Anyway, I've had my full break now, so I need to go and get back to the yard to see where I'm going for my second run. But I hope you enjoyed the video. This is just my opinion and my experiences. I haven't been in the game very long, so I don't need people to lecture me about that. I am still a beginner. I'm still a newbie, but this is just the things that I love about being a HGV driver compared to teaching. So if you like the video, then you can click it a little thumbs up and give me a like on the video. And if you want to keep up with my adventures, I've got some more videos coming driving around and um, actually over the road. So I, if you want to keep up with me, then you can subscribe. And uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one.